Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed Walter Waite Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. 27 wins, eight losses, one no contest. And now, introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. The reigning, defending, undisputed, Walter Wade, champion of the world. All right, so, pencil versus eraser. You know, it seems like a joke, but... Actually, we are making the point that we want to put drawing systems in tension with each other, to use one way of looking, one way of making as a check on the other. We're creating a rhythm in the making of the drawing. Just think about the kind of focus and energy that it takes to create a blind contour drawing. Now, now as you know, a true blind contour drawing would become very abstract. But what if, say, every five seconds or so, you glanced over at your paper. Yeah, no longer strictly speaking blind contour, but we get what is so great about a blind contour drawing, which is the direct connection with the subject and a very responsive hand, and also get great proportion. So we discipline the mind to use one way of thinking, or at least one way at a time, one way of looking, creating a proposition, about the subject being drawn. When we are making this proposition, we want to believe in it fully. We want to commit to it, embody it in the moment of making. And then when we shift to the other system, we are nothing but skeptical of the first. But hold on, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Let's take a look at that beginning one more time. Okay, stop. What we are seeing here is the transfer of one of our studies to the drawing. Here, here are the studies again, but with more notes because while we're making a drawing, we always want to keep notes about our thoughts on the drawing itself and also about ideas that we have for more drawings. Keep your sketchbooks close. Make sure that you have a sketchbook that you can take with you that fits in your backpack. Take it everywhere and refer to them often. But what we're doing here is using that compass to help us draw in the dominant angle as a rough guide and also as a beginning division of the picture plane, our major area divisions. Okay, go. Okay, stop again. Now you can see that we're mapping in our dynamic symmetry. These early moves will ensure that when we set up our key, which is what we're going to do next, that the key refers back to the overall composition. We'll get there in a second. All right, so let's review just a little bit while we watch this first 10 minutes of the drawing. Triangulation is an umbrella term that we use whenever we're using known information to find unknown information. So this includes point vector, checking angles, using construction lines, blind contour, construction points, positive and negative shapes, organizing lines, observed value, planar construction, all of these drawing systems are good ways to get us back on the visual field, to get us thinking in terms of the illusion of drawing, rather than the names of the things that we're seeing. Remember that drawings look the way they do because of the way that the artist was thinking and acting. These drawing systems are used together, along with our drawing systems, from drawing from imagination, but you should be very strict about your awareness 
of which drawing system you're using at any one given time. I encourage you to write down at the top of your page the approaches that you'll be working on and then give yourself a time limit where you really focus on just one approach for that amount of time. So say five minutes for site measuring. Then we can develop each approach far enough that we can see its strengths and weaknesses and also learn what it has to teach us about seeing and thinking as it relates to drawing. Next, let's take on that seeing question directly. Let's take that first 10 minutes of the drawing again and just look at my eye movement. What you may notice first is that I'm doing a lot of squinting. This helps to reduce the amount of detail information and see the still life in more abstract terms to see the larger shapes of light and shade. It also helps me to focus. As we get a little bit further into the drawing, you'll see that I'm really setting up a rhythm of looking. It looks to me like I'm actually looking at the still life for more time than I'm looking at the drawing. I'm only looking at the drawing to check the work. So I'm not looking at my page when I'm actually making marks on the page. This is not 100% true, but it's mostly true. So work on this half blind approach to making the drawing. In the long run, this connection with your subject is going to give you the opportunity for a more empathetic drawing. You'll begin to feel like you're drawing on the forms and around the forms, drawing those lines over conceived forms where that conception shifts between volumes and light shapes, between flatness and shade shapes. <laughs>